Queen Elizabeth's last visit to Ottawa was in 2010. She attended Canada Day celebrations on Parliament Hill with the Duke of Edinburgh. The Queen's first major tour in Canada in 1959, she made a stop in eastern Ontario to officially open the St. Lawrence Seaway. Here's CTV's Nate Vandermeer. At the Lost Villages Museum in Long Sioux, Historical Society President Jim Brownell goes through pictures of Queen Elizabeth's second visit to Canada in 1959. June uh, 27th, 1959, I was 11 years old. She was on a nationwide tour, visiting every province and territory, which included many stops along the Seaway to open the newly finished St. Lawrence Seaway project. We were standing there with our Union Jacks and waving our... and she came by and, and gave the royal wave. It was exciting and she had the top down. The top was down on the um, the limousine that she was uh, with the picture right here b behind me. Stopping in Long Sioux, Ingleside, Morrisburg, Iroquois and then arriving in Brockville in the evening. And I remember her in that dress. She That's the dress she wore all day. The golden book she signed in Ingleside, even part of the museum. So Those four years of having absolute turmoil in lives of people this was kind of a, a time to celebrate. The monarchy was quite strong at, at that time, so people came out to celebrate. They certainly did. Fast forward 59 years later to 2018, and Brownell had a chance to see the Queen again, this time in England, after she had been named Colonel-in-Chief of the SDG Highlanders Regiment. Sitting, talking to her was s sitting and talking to the wisest grandmother you'd ever want to meet. It was an amazing experience that few get, and I, I, I count myself very lucky. As we discuss photos in the museum, news breaks of the Queen's passing. A tough moment for Brownell. Um, you know, it's a sad day. It's a sad day for those people who, um, who have a fondness for the monarchy and for Queen Elizabeth. Uh, it's going to be a different time now. Her memory, however, will now live on at the museum here, and for many years to come. Nate Vandermeer, CTV News, Long Sioux.